Where the sexy robot party Everybody's disco dancing Mistake or mistake. <laughs> we really need to figure out the pronunciation of that, don't we? Oh, I, I'm Tom, in case you somehow hadn't clued in on that. Today we're talking about our family and what in our family is geeky or where we stand in our kind of family of geeks. I don't really have a family of geeks in any way, shape, or form. I'm kind of the black sheep on this. No one really gets my geekiness. Uh, I have a couple cousins who kind of are, are geeky in in certain ways, but, but very specific ways and very different from mine. I have a cousin who is a uh, computer programmer, and well, actually I don't really know exactly what he does. But yeah, so, so he's into like, some of that computer stuff, but if I try to talk to him about like Doctor Who or kind of some of the more sci-fi aspects, it's just it's not really something he's interested in. Um, I could probably talk to him about Google AdSense till you know, I was blue in the face, but I can't really because I don't really know anything about Google AdSense, so so there's that. I have another cousin who's into video games, but 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 just very kind of strictly kind of console, Xbox, that kind of thing. And nothing against that. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm really more of a computer gamer myself, but so I don't have the 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 hate on as some people do for the console gamers. I really don't. But but again, it's not a lot of common ground. The closest, I think, would be uh, a few on my mom's side who were kind of almost like pre-geeks, like, you know, history geeks or science geeks, but again, not quite in the same vein as me. They never identify themselves as such, and, you know, that most of them kind of don't have any interest in science fiction or fantasy. Uh, most of them just don't get it. They just don't find it really interesting, and, and I, I, I can't fathom that at all. I have no idea how you could possibly not find science fiction or fantasy just absolutely enthralling. That's really about it. I, I, I'm really, like I said, I'm really kind of the black sheep here. I don't know where my geekiness came from. I don't know how it developed. I wasn't really exposed to any of it as a kid, except for watching Star Trek briefly, but, well, I watched Star Trek a lot, but I don't know how I started watching Star Trek, though. Like, like what in my childhood said, hey, this nerdy show that, you know, all of society makes fun of everybody for watching. That seems like a good idea to watch. I don't know. But here I am, and I suspect that however things end up, probably I will be surrounding myself with geeks for the rest of my life as much as possible. So, All right, folks, quick video because I forgot about this, and I'm tired. And yeah, so have a good one, folks.